I came up with the concept of doing it on the continent of Africa with African families playing against African families. Well, we're going to start with uh, a production of uh, Family Feud, but I call it the African version of Family Feud. Um, it's going to be the same format that you receive from the States that I do. That's a huge hit over there, except uh, I came up with the concept of doing it on the continent of Africa with African families playing against African families. And I just think that would be a... a <laughs> a great little uh, niche to fall into. I think it would be a lot of fun. I think it would be good to create family content here on the continent of Africa. I think it would be fun for Africans to see Africans on TV. And that's, that's the basic idea of what we're doing. People are the same all over. You know, people are the exact same. There are some little cultural differences. Of course, we'll change some questions to make the, some of the survey questions be a little bit more for the African audience. But other than that, it's, it's just basically people are people. And I think uh, me hosting the show, finding the humor in some of the differences in the way we phrase things could be very funny. Uh, I'm the one over here with the accent this time. You know, uh, it may sound like everybody got an accent to me, but I'm the one with the accent this trip. So, but I'm always the one with the accent, even in America. So I'm used to that. Because Africa's my home. It's my homeland. Always wanted to come back here. From the day I set foot on this soil some years ago, I always wanted to find a way to come here and make some type of contribution. And so I think being uh, a person such as myself who still has a very bright career going in the States, why not bring that talent over here and develop other talent on the continent uh, and give young people some, not only some job opportunities, but some opportunities to create. I want to see people flourish. I want to see people's dreams and visions come true. I want to help direct and change the mindset. I'm here to let people know that, you know, God is in the blessing business. God is in the make your dream come true business. God is in the turn your life around business. Because, I mean, that's what he did for me. So if he can do it for me, how, how is it that he can't do it for you? I understand the employment rate here is high. I got that. But we're not the only people that, I, that I've never had jobs before. There's a lot of people been out of work. There's a lot of people with a lot of dire uh, circumstance that they're residing in. But we gotta find a way to flourish in spite of it all. You know what I mean, what are we gonna do, give up? So my whole hope is to come here and enlighten and empower uh, a lot of people. Most of them will be young. I want to show Africa in a different light. That's part of the reason, you know. Change the narrative. There's a lot of propaganda going around about this beautiful continent. You know, that's just not true. A person like myself can bring a spotlight sometimes because of my notoriety that maybe a news anchor person can't or a documentary can't tell. Because you better believe that after today, the buzz is going to hit. The truth of the matter is, I'm over here to make a difference. We're going to create some jobs, we're going to create some content, and we're going to show this continent in a wonderful light. Everybody over here is not hungry. Everybody don't have flies on them. UNICEF is not paying for everybody to eat over here, and everybody ain't at war. It's a lot of great things going on in this continent. We're going to show some of it.